I want to talk about planes. The three-dimensional coordinate system is loaded with them. Uh, so let's take a look. We have, first of all, three coordinate axes, the x-axis, the y-axis, and the z-axis. And these axes actually themselves create planes. There's the xy plane, which I've drawn in red here. Let me label that xy plane. Now every point on the xy plane has a z-coordinate of zero, so it's also called z equals zero. That's an identifying characteristic for the plane, so that's an equation for the plane. And there's also the, uh, in purple here, I've got the yz plane. The yz plane is also called x equals zero, because every point on it has x coordinate zero. And finally, there's the xz plane, which is in blue here. So I'll write that down here, x, whoops, xz plane. And of course, the equation for that is y equals zero. And you probably noticed the way to remember what the equation of the plane is, is what letter's missing. xz, the missing letter is y. So y equals zero is the equation. Now, what's really important to know about the coordinate planes, as these are called, is that they divide three-dimensional space into eight portions, which are called octants. Right, just like the, the, uh, the xy plane is divided into quadrants by the x and y axis, these coordinate planes divide space into eight regions, and they're called octants. And we often talk about the first octant, but the other ones aren't really numbered. The first octant is the one where all the coordinates, x, y, and z, are positive. Now, I want to talk about planes uh, I want to talk planes in a little more depth, and I can't quite get more planes drawn into this picture. So let's take a look at um, a graphing program that I have on my computer. Okay, here we are in Grapher, which is a, a computer that I have on my Mac here. And there's a, um, a coordinate system drawn, three-dimensional coordinate system. I have my cursor on the x-axis. This is the y-axis, and this is the z-axis. And uh, I can show you really quickly, that's z equals zero. Right, that's the xy plane, and y equals zero, that's the xz plane, and x equals zero, that's the yz plane. And if you want to see them all at once, now you can see that the octant that's facing us, this is the first octant that I was speaking of. In this octant, all the coordinates x, y, and z are positive. <clears throat> now let's take a look at some other planes. Um, z equals two. Z equals two, you can tell that its identifying characteristic is that the Z values are all two. And you'll also notice that it's parallel to Z equals zero. It's parallel to the XY plane. In fact, Z equals any constant is gonna be parallel to the XY plane. Here's Y equals negative three. Y equals negative three, of course, is gonna be parallel to Y equals zero, the XZ plane. And here's y equals x. In two dimensions, in the xy plane, this is just a line. But in three dimensions, this is a plane. So the defining characteristic, y equals x, tells you that every point on this plane has the same x and y coordinate. So there are lots and lots of other kinds of planes that we'll be talking about in the near future. But it's important to know that simple equations like z equals 2 or like y equals negative 3 describe planes.